Hello everyone, I'm going to do my predictions for SummerSlam now, and um, first we'll start with the two women's championship matches, because they both have the same opponent, which is Asuka. So Asuka's challenging Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship, and then Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. So um, they had a beat the clock challenge on SmackDown this week, and whoever got the fastest time against Naomi got to face... Asuka second, or gets to face Asuka second, so Sasha Banks won that, so Bailey's defending her title first, and then Sasha's going second, so what I think is going to happen is, I think uh, Bailey will beat Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship, but then I think Asuka will win back the Raw Women's Championship against Sasha Banks, so then I think she's going to go on to fight. Shayna Baszler, because they've kind of been teasing that, so that's what I think is going to happen there. So next, we have Apollo Crews versus MVP for the United States Championship, and I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it could go either way, but I think I'll go with MVP, new United States Champion. So next, for the Raw Tag Team Championships, it's the Street Profits defending against Andrade and Angel Garza, and Zelina Vega poison Montez Ford, so I'm sure that will come into play during the match. Um, and this is kind of another match where I don't know who's going to win. Again, I feel like it could go either way. Um... <laughs> Street Profits. I'm going to go with Street Profits to retain. So the next match, Dominic Mysterio making his wrestling debut versus Seth Rollins in an Extreme Rules match. So this should be interesting, especially after he got hit with that cane or the kendo stick like 30 times on Raw a couple of weeks ago. Um... They can both use kendo sticks again in this match and hit each other as many times as they want, I suppose. Um, I don't know if Dominic will win his debut match, but I think that would be good if he did. Um, he's going to have Ray on his side to watch him. Again, I don't know. His predictions are hard. Um, I think I'll go with Dominic, though. And, yeah. We'll see how he goes, but I'll pick him to win. Get some revenge for everything that Seth's done to him and Ray over the past few months. Uh, so next we've got Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville. And originally this was going to be a hair versus hair match, but now it's been changed to a no disqualification match and the loser leaves WWE match. And I think Sonya probably will lose, especially after what's happened to her lately. She's been through a lot, and I guess she needs some time off from WWE just to, I guess, refocus. And she's probably still dealing with what happened, obviously, which was quite terrible. Nothing like that should ever happen. So I do think Sonya will lose and leave WWE, at least for now. I think she will be back in the future, but she's going to leave at least for the the time being. So next, Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship, and I think this will be a good match. Um, and yeah, Randy's been hunting all these legends lately. The legend killer is back. I don't know if they'll come into play, maybe. They could cost Randy the championship, but hopefully they don't, because SummerSlam has been pretty good to Randy Orton. I mean, he won his first championship there and became the youngest champion in history. So I think that will continue. Randy's going to win the WWE Championship for the 14th time. So that's what I think will happen. And then, I think this is the last match, Braun Strowman versus The Fiend for the Universal Championship. And it is a... Falls Count Anywhere match now, so that'll be interesting. They can fight anywhere in the Thunderdome. <laughs> um, and I think Braun, uh, not Braun, Bray, the Fiend, is going to win the title back. Um, 
and then maybe put an end to this feud. I don't know. We'll see. But I think Bray might win the title back at SummerSlam. I think that was it. There'll probably be a pre-show match announced. I don't know what that is yet, but there usually is a pre-show match on the pre-show. Um, so, yeah, we'll find out what that is probably tomorrow. And that's my prediction. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.